One does not simply create voices for their gods. Hippity doo dah, that is right. I said gods. And to be honest, it is what it is. You might not believe it, but I have listened to the winds that have carried the voices through the air. Or in this case, my computer fan. And darn it for them breaking it. These are my top five choices for the people that have the most unique voices on YouTube. And before you write in the comments, oh, Lightning McChode Mouth has the best voice on YouTube. I don't get it. I don't care. I don't get out much. Plus, I don't go on YouTube. So this is why it's my top five and not your top five or top five or five or whatever. Whatever. It's a, it's a list. But first on the list, play the cool top five thing. And by all means, this is, you know, no particular order. Just what I thought of first. Number one, Corpse Husband. Many of you know this daddy corpse husband is the man with the deepest voice. So deep he could replace Master Chief on the Pillar of Autumn while picking up Cortana on a nice date. What up, baby? It's no wonder why all the girls want a piece of that nice booty. Most of his witchcraft on how he pulls women is an absolute mystery. So much of the mystery, it almost seems like everywhere you go, you'd have some 13 to 25 year old trying to pick up women or act like it was their natural voice as well. Hey, baby. You want to go on a nice date with me? Oh yeah, I know you would. You would love to date me. I played roadblocks with corpse. Would you like to date me? Oh my god, I would love to date you. I would love to see someone like as deep as a voice like you. You turn me on so much. That's how most of the people think it will go. When in reality it will be like, Why do you sound like a 10 year old that hasn't gone through puberty and you're trying to hide it? That is how the conversations are going to go. Most people know by now of his medical condition that makes his voice so deep and naturally sexy. But a curse that nonetheless doesn't stop most people. Thankfully, it's died down so we don't have to deal with this problem of reenactment as before today. But bear in mind, the more and more you want to become an absolute legend that handles ostriches on the daily and, you know, talk to a woman with a deep voice. Deep voices don't matter. Being you matters, you know, that's what they say. <laughs> Kill a deer, kill a whore, kill a nice doc, and you know, you become the next best friend. Or I guess like best man. I don't know. Husband. But the most important fact is it will be harder to become less and less sus when talking to a woman. Dun dun dun. Wolfie Chew. That's right. This adorable little furball is also, I think, burdened by a medical issue. I'm not sure she said it before, but I don't really care to look up and find out the right answers to this Jesus Christ equation of an answer. However, if it turns you on, then you're sure to want to follow the channel. She creates pretty great videos, you know, and she has, you know, the voice of a little, I think you would say, hi, hi, anime girl. Hello everyone, this is Wolfie Chu. And I don't know if it's like, you know, what kind of high it is, but it, it is high. Just think of it. You, a little Wolfie Chu, Casting in the breeze of a lifeboat on the Titanic. Isn't that romantic? Unfortunately, you might have to deal with, you know, a little bit of a dilemma considering she's dating some other YouTube guy. Go figure, right? I'm sure you have what it takes to slide into her DMs, though. If all else fails, just slide into her, the guy's DMs and you might be able to exercise, you know, some sort of threesome. Or maybe you just will get with him and, you know, you won't even need Wolfie Chu at that point. You both can fantasize about it together. If that's not even enough for you, you can always just have the option of, you know, moving next door to their house and staring at her window every time she wakes up. Or you could even take the easier route by Bob Rossing a picture of her on your wall. That's what I did. So have no shame in doing it yourself. You know, it's perfectly normal. <laughs> uh yeah you won't be the first and you won't be the last number three nux taku yes that's right the famous vtuber that everyone wants to beat their penis to and stick oranges in their ear i don't know how he has so much Mwah. i often find myself watching his videos and imitating his vocal structure of going up and down like you're riding a emotional roller coaster if his voice doesn't make you think about the reasons why you have to quit your job, and then maybe I can shed some light on that. In this video, there's a thousand dollars on the line. In this video, I am part of the greatest collaboration. In this video, I have pushed this concept. This is my impression of Nuxtaku's voice, and let me tell you, I've been working really hard on it. Hello, everyone. In this video, 
you will become an ostrich. If you ever catch yourself listening to your own voice, just replace it with his voice and you'll understand why it's such a pleasure. I used to use the Geico commercial as my ringtone, but now I just use his voice on loop to make all my calls as important. And it's like listening to one of the biggest VTubers out there and I'm actually feeling like I'm important. You know, it's great. I'm freaking his best friend. I want to personally thank Nux Taku for making all the girls in the library as well. You know, not all over the books because, you know, it makes every free copy of a library book and it, it makes college so much easier for so many people i didn't even go to college but i just think it's funny to go there and watch all the girls not all over the place <laughs> i might get a free book you know i ask them for it but usually i just get a slap on the face after that i gotta have respect for the man for keeping his real identity secret though the amount of people on his doorstep would be overwhelming because they'd all want to ride on him and i was talking about a piggyback ride so get your mind out of the gutter number four Swagger souls. I don't know if this voice is a curse or a blessing. I have definitely seen some sort of trend going on with people wanting to copy the voices of others or big people or whatever the case may be. I think many of the reasons people fail to imitate Swagger Souls' stoner voice is because most of them don't wear a clunky medieval helmet when they do it. Like, as you can tell, my helmet's gotten quite a bit of rust on it, and I think this is the perfect time. It, it seems like it would be basic knowledge for the most part. I can see the urge to want to sound like you're a part of a big, famous group of friends out there. If anyone says that they're not trying to sound like them, though, it's about a 50-50 chance that they're right. But just in case you're part of the other 50%, that want to sound like Swagger Souls, I did take the liberty of searching up his helmet on the most reliable site so you can reach that perfect pitch of sexiness and voice control. The results can sometimes vary depending on how much sticky balls you throw on the top of your ceiling. So please, please, please consider trading in that as well or else you may find yourself becoming the laughing stock or one of the most annoying people in the lobby and everyone's gonna say you're trying to imitate his voice and trust me, it can get annoying. Number five, Chill's voice. I personally couldn't think of another unique voice at the time of making this, so I decided to ask some random guy in the street what YouTuber he found sexy, and his answer was nonetheless Chill's. Unfortunately, I can't show the clip of that since he decided to break my camera and piss on it right in front of me, which I heavily encouraged it because, you know, it was the most ballsiest thing you've you know, I could see someone doing. I could imagine them not wanting it to be on YouTube. So I've got to have respect for that. If you love cringing, then this is definitely the voice for you. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger. I cannot stand Chills' voice, which is why it makes it the best candidate for the top five voices of sexiness, you know? I don't know if it's the reason that every time I used to walk into a lobby high, when I got high, every single person would walk up to me doing this impression of... Burger King foot lust. Every time you stick your foot in a burger, you get Corona. I wonder what it would be like to be in an argument with Chills, though, to be honest. I imagine every time you'd get in an argument, there'd be like some 12-year-old child or 60-year-old man ready to pop out with the famous line. And then Bahas, the argument that Chills was, you know, maybe right on just becomes automatically invalid because of the Burger King thing, you know? And it is what it is, you know? I, I don't know. I personally will... I'll never understand the man. I suppose the world will never know as well, though. But come at me, Chills. I'm ready. I'm ready for an argument. And if you are literally trying to come on me, I'll probably just donate to the Make-A-Wish Foundation since that's where usually I send all the semen donators to because, you know, I, I, I don't know any other semen places that are called. Like I said at the start of this video, or maybe I didn't, I don't really know, but this is not intended to give out any hate of these content creators or creatures. I... You know, if anything, this is a massive shout out by your girl with the highest amount of YouTube subscribers besides PewDiePie since it sometimes do be like that. And I really do enjoy each of these content creators other than the fifth and, you know, which is why I'm making this video. Nonetheless, though, I hope you all have a terrific day. And until next time, ciao, ciao. Farewell for now. Enjoy your life and stay voicey.